I welcome all of you on platform of your PD education, the dedicated platform where you are getting the entire you know guidance for uh, higher education courses, how to apply there, how to prepare SOPs, SORs, letter of recommendations, how to prepare for interview and everything. So this particular video is related to the series of videos which we are publishing for different courses, different departments, different IITs, different courses and different specialization and how to write SOPs. So we are here explaining the method to write SOP, what should be the ingredient of SOP, SOR, difference between these couple of uh, things, what is SOP, what is SOR and how it is to be written for different courses. You know IITs have uh, and any university has many departments, chemical engineering, mechanical engineering, civil engineering, computer science, biomedical and there are courses like MS, MTech, PhD, then there are dis interdisciplinary departments like aerospace, energy studies, you know. So uh, for different departments during admission, uh, normally admission process requires SOP, SOR or LOR for MTech, MS, PhD in some of the institutes for MTech also, S uh, MS and PhD normally they ask you. Student fear a lot how to write SOP and all, it is not difficult but yes, uh, expert guidance and advice of mentors is always helpful. So these couple of uh, videos which you are watching, they are based upon some of the SOPs which were written by the students of Europedia during initial drafts when they were sent to the mentors of Europedia and they corrected it to first couple of drafts and then we are showing it. They are not, they are not the final versions but my request is do not copy paste these SOPs and apply. Just write your individuality should be reflected in that and you should have some kind of mocks on the basis of these because you know uh, in the intro they are going to ask you a couple of questions based upon these SOPs. My this uh, particular video is related to uh, MS program in disaster management in IIT Guwahati. IIT Guwahati mein there is an interdisciplinary department disaster management and uh, different branch of students can apply in that department. So this student is from the biomedical engineering who is applying in this department for MS. So let's go now and see how it is uh, to be written. So first you will tell why you are writing, uh, uh, why you are applying for MS in disaster management. This is statement of purpose actually why you want it. And research proposal means what you want to do in that. So it is very important field and you know direct correlation with the human life that is what you are saying. And uh, then you are mentioning about you know disaster management and uh, why you think you are uh, uh, basically suitable for this department that is what you are right this this is what you will write and then you will mention about India why it is required in India what kind of problems India as a diverse country faces in the field of disaster management so disaster management actually is a very important domain because it is directly related to uh, the life of human being and India is a diverse country different kind of disasters you keep on seeing here so right from the childhood you were passionate to do something in this direction so you mentioned that when you were in Kolkata, your personal experience, you had this experience and then in COVID also you had different kind of experience and then you say that okay MS from IIT Guwahati, you will certainly pursue your domain of interest which is cyclone and tsunami. So in this you have mentioned that why disaster management is very important and why you want to get into that and IIT Guwahati may if you get chance, this is the area of specialization in which you would like to pursue, that is what you have mentioned. And then you mention about your background, you will say okay I am biomedical engineering student, so I have first hand knowledge of the hospital training from this, so you know the emergency situation, disaster, you know code blue, there are different codes, code blue for heart attack and then you are mentioning about that. And then you know uh, you, you also uh, can mention some of the research paper which you have gone through in this particular direction, so you, you mention about some research paper and uh, you can always refer that okay from this research paper I got an idea that how I can work in this particular research area like tsunami and cyclone and uh, your uh, knowledge of programming interface like software skills simulation software skills, skills whatever you have and how your this knowledge can be helpful to you and then you are talking about why IIT Guwahati and uh, why only IIT Guwahati do you think is going to be helpful for you and uh, how it is going to fulfill your uh, dreams for pursuing your higher education. So why this course, why this IIT, 
what you want to do in this from where you came to know about this have you gone through some research papers have you referred some research papers have you done some project have you done some course your uh, software skills what software skills you have acquired so if i start seeing these components in your uh, statement of purpose or research proposal i'll say it is good the moment this research proposal goes to the professor he will see okay this fellow is interested to work in this area and then interview may questions come from that particular direction only so i'm very sure you have understood what are the ingredients of sop start writing sop for the courses uh, he is asking you to write sop and then uh, get it corrected from the mentors of yourpedia yourpedia mentors are always ready to help you out make good sop sor and send it to the mentors of yourpedia they will correct it and send you back and then you can apply in these uh, you know uh, courses and the moment you get interview call your interview will be in this direction hope this has helped you Keep watching all the SOPs which we are uploading on your PDR. Thank you.